Have you ever not? Even question that this universe is real or not. So, uh, do you believe in God? No. So you. you it's similar, similar to that woman. It's just like I, I kind of. Kind you believe in kind of a vague sense of an energy or something like that. I believe in collective consciousness because I think I've experienced it with laughter and love. So it's the the uh, uh, Okay. You know, in the Quran, Allah always utilizes intellectual arguments. Allah, in the Quran, Allah, Allah always addresses the minds, the intellects, the sound intellect. Allah said, Hal ala I will translate it, yeah? Hal لم يكن شيئا مذكورا إنا خلقنا الإنسان من نطفة أمشاج نبتليه فجعلناه سميعا بصيرا The meaning of the verse is in other time for mankind to think There was once upon a time it was not even a word of mentioning Now he has a hearing and a sight and it was created from a mix uh, 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 sperm and, and so on The question we ask ourselves as human beings that no way a blind matter can create someone who has knowledge has a sight, has a ears. Do you agree with that? Blind matter cannot do that. Yes. I have no means to disagree, so I suppose. Yeah, yeah, no, no because there's, there's, what we say to you, uh, there's, uh, there's some of knowledge called knowledge w uh, which is known by necessity. One of them that it's impossible, irrational, illogical that a blind matter can create me. Okay. You agree with that? Again, I don't have any means to disagree, so I suppose I agree. Yeah, yeah, do you agree, I'm saying, do you agree with that, yeah? I guess. I don't know how to disagree with it, so I guess... There's I... no way to disagree with it. <laughs> okay, then cool. All right, let me make it clear to you to understand if you try to disagree with that, it will make you, not you, anyone try to, to disagree with that will make him foolish. This is an iPhone. Yeah. This, if I say to you this iPhone was created by a rock, yeah. would, you, would you accept that? The well, iPhone... We came from stardust, so technically we're all kind of rocks. No, ask my question. If I say to you this iPhone, was created, this iPhone was created by a rock. As I said, we all came from Stardust initially. I'm asking you, if I said to you this phone was created by a rock, would you accept that? This phone, iPhone has a camera, all that, organized program. No way. Yes, what I'm saying, bro. It's a designer, that's it's, okay, now, okay, say again. Okay, now, have you seen the person who made it? No, no. You haven't seen, this is called unseen. Where is unseen? There is a relative unseen and a, a, and, a, and a absolute unseen. Yeah. You and I, to us, is unseen. We haven't seen the person who made it. No, no. But it is not conditional for me to see him, to know that this person who made the phone must be smart. Yeah, I By analyzing the phone. Yes, what we're we using, we are using our sound reasoning, yeah? By looking at the phone, I have no doubt the person who made the phone must have a knowledge. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. Likewise, no doubt, the person who made the iPhone must have ability. Yeah. Okay? Likewise, the one who made the phone must have what they call it, intent. Yeah? Okay, this is iPhone, which is... I'm just giving you an example. What about you and I and this creation? Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand it like with reference to ants. It is more... Like ants create these amazing colonies, yet they have no idea of our existence and we're manipulating the entire planet around them. And that's fascinating. So ants live in their hub. We could just be ants to a greater being. I totally accept that. We, it's just, no, but, but, but sorry to cut you. What I'm saying, it is more rational, logical, that this beautiful creation, including ourselves, yeah. must have more powerful creator yeah. who has the knowledge, he has the will, he has the wisdom. I understand. You agree with that? No. I understand what you're saying. Of I course, I'm speaking English. I'm not speaking Chinese, am I? No. Of no. course, you do understand. Well, what I don't agree with is because I don't think... I think when we get that far, rationality sort of... You're extending beyond rationality. It's too difficult to comprehend. How? how, 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 how but, but I do appreciate it for, because, well, I mean, religion exists on the basis of faith. So it exists on the absence of belief or the absence of truth. I don't agree with that. That's, well, no, no, but that's what a religion is. You believe. No, no religion is a Greek word. Great. It's gorgeous. It's, a, it's a wonderful. I, I, religion is I, a Greek I, word, brother. I suppose. What it means? Religious well, mean? Yeah, I mean, I have no, again, yeah, sure. Okay. Religion, religion means a way of life. Religion doesn't mean absence of evidence for faith. Doesn't mean re religion in a Greek word means religious. Okay. Way of life. Every person has a way of life. But before we go into that, it's, you said to me, it's be, you cannot extend that, that this creation must have a creator with this knowledge. How? If I'm saying to you that look at our source, we have a nose next to our mouth. Why? Before you eat, smell food. 
It's, it's very, it's very, it's great. It's brilliant. Yeah, you have so eyebrows. It's as though it's created. Let us go step know, by no, step. Accept it, yeah. You accept. So we need a creator, no doubt. I accept the, the capacity to sort of rationalize that. But I also accept the capacity to rationalize something completely different. For example? Well, that it could all just be chance. Why not? Define or chance to me. All, all, you know, there is the rule of singulari singularity. Brother, don't go off topic. Define no, no, chance, define no, chance. The rule of singularity suggests that we could have created it, that we're manufacturing Brother, it as we speak. Look, the matrix and all that. Kind of okay, stuff. so you believe in the matrix? I don't believe Okay, it. forget that. Things. All right. <laughs> Stick to what is makes sense. Don't blind follow what scientists tell us. I don't accept nothing from the scientists when it comes to creation of God. Because what are they do? They talk nonsense. Ooh. Yes, they talk nonsense. You and I we have a sound reasoning, correct? I mean I'd like to think so, yeah. Sure. <laughs> as in I'd like to think I have a sound reasoning. You have of course a very sound reasoning. No, you have sound reasoning as well, brother. Very much. Uh, clearly because <laughs> if I said to you, you know what? This cup do you know who gave me this coffee shop? I mean, I discovered it's a coffee shop. Okay. It. No, it was by chance. Would you accept that? Be, be logical. No, 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 of course I no, that's what I'm saying. You see? So that's what I'm saying. You, you have a sound reasoning. No, look, the, the only thing I'm curious about is, that, is if you ever doubted it. I mean, you speak with... But that, before we go doubt it, let us see step by step, because I want to stick to one point and then we move on, yeah? Okay. What I would say to you, you said chance. Chance is not an entity that exists outside in reality. Chance is what? Is an occasion. Like I say, you know what, today you have a chance to win 10,000 pounds. Okay. I'm not going to say today you have a uh, 10,000, uh, I'm not going to tell you, today you'll be given 10,000 pounds by someone called chance. Or something chance. Because you're going to tell me someone called chance, so is a human being, or is an entity. So chance is not an entity that exists outside. Rather, any human being with a sound reasoning is impossible, irrational, illogical, foolishness, stupidity. I have respect to think this beautiful creation was created by something called chance. Do you agree with that? Not exactly. So, chance, <laughs> so it's possible that chance creates the universe? Well, well, there's a chance. What is chance? Define chance. <laughs> well, I think it's something like there's some obscene statistic that, you know, sort of we exist, like we're one of. 100 trillion sperm or something like that. Like the exact, the, the, the chance of us existing. I'm asking so you what minute. define chance, define chance. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I don't have you know seen chance walk in the street? Hello, bye-bye. No, but, the, but that's the... Is it chance entity? But you... No, I... No. <laughs> that's, that, 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 that's what I'm saying. You know what, yeah? You know deep down, if you walk outside there, yeah? I know if you, when you walk outside, you will never look around and you see beautiful tree, beautiful sky, beautiful mountains. Beautiful people, and if you know what, yeah, chance create them. You don't think like that. That's why you know one of the the no, most. I always question things. Absolutely. Questioning doesn't mean you think. Because we have to. We have what we have to do. Understand? Does a chance possess knowledge? Well, no. No. Does it? Does it? Does it? The concept of chance doesn't possess knowledge. Does it? Does it possess power? Yeah, I suppose you could attribute power to it. To what? Well, if you believe that it does, then you could attribute power to it. People believe... People might flip a coin and they might be like, I'm going to go that way or that way and I'm going to leave it up to chance. Okay. So you're attributing power to the coin. I'll tell you, there's no chance. I just, I just created chance. That no, there's no chance. Because it is impossible. Okay, that would... Attributing power to chance. Okay. Would that coin... No, no. That coin, chance didn't come and, and lift it. You did. Yeah. So chance is not an entity. I'm the entity. That's it. So I'm the creator. So you need, that's it. That's what you need to do. <laughs> that doer can do something with, by chance or something yeah. with a choice. Yeah? yeah? So therefore, you need a doer. And that doer cannot be a chance. It's illogical. It could, I, no, 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 you're right. I just think. Yeah, I'm all right, alhamdulillah. <laughs> that's good. You know, because. Can I have Yeah, tfadal. Don't run away, yeah? No, I It's expensive, alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, we say to you, look, look, yeah? That's why in the Quran, Allah, as I've mentioned to you, what's your name, sorry? Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. Nice My name is Shamsi, yeah? <laughs> That's why I said to you, Joe, in the Quran, Allah always addresses people's minds, intellect, and a sound uh, uh, natural inclination. You know? Because oh, natural. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and those tools, those tools, the Creator create us with them in order to recognize Him and to worship Him alone. That's why when I, when I say to you about the iPhone, it's impossible, illogical, for an iPhone to be created by a rock, even though a rock has an energy. Yeah. yeah, but it's impossible. If I say to you that phone was created by a child that is five months old, it's impossible. What if I said to you that phone was created by a 12-year-old in, like in one of those 
factories where they're sort of forced to work and piece things together. But they have to teach him first. Okay. Yeah, I know, but like yeah, that's, that's not that's, where the first No, that's my iPhone, okay. one second. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but I was going to But my point was, even if that child, they have to teach him first. He has to possess knowledge. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's my it point. was made by slave labor, and now we're just walking No, no, uh, uh, that slave labor it must have a knowledge how to make it. Yeah. Even if it was made by chicken, that chicken they have to teach him. You know, what I'm saying, look, let's be rational. Let's be, that's why I believe anyone, oh, no, yeah. uh, Joe, I have to be straightforward with you. Please do. Yeah, Joe, this, this matter is not a joke. It's good to smile with each other. Oh, sorry. But no, 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 it's good to smile, no problem smile with each other. But this matter is a matter of the hereafter. Either it's going to be hellfire or paradise. That's why in the Quran, Allah sometimes utilizes intellectual proofs. But sometimes Allah utilizes psychological proofs. Psychological proofs when Allah threaten mankind with a fire. The fear of the fire, you're going to die one day. We're going to die. How many people left the house and never come back? How many people won't sleep, they never wake up? You understand? That's why Prophet Muhammad taught us, go visit the graves. Because there are people like you and I, joking, having a fun, families, next to me, are in the graves. You know? So Allah, Allah threatened mankind with that. I, I suppose, but I think... I, sorry, you want to... Yeah, yeah, you want to tell him, go on. Just, I have one question, I'm going to go. No problem, okay. Pardon? What's your job? Yes, this is started, I'm My job? Yeah. I'm a lawyer. Lawyer. Yeah. Okay, I will give you that notebook. It's a white check. I write how much you need. What? Why? He write how much you need. I don't need any money. No, this is the uh, start of our dealing. Start it. This, is, this will be happening something right now. And huh? you will believe something. Just let me. Write how much you need. Do you want me to write a figure? Yeah, this figure. Write down how much you need. It. I will give you. Yeah. Give me the pen. Ooh. Sorry. I didn't mean to drop your very no, expensive no, pen. No, <laughs> no worries, Joe. Right, right, right. After you give, after the money, give me. Brother, yeah. you keep pushing me, brother. No, no, sorry. Uh, I need zero, man. Like, that's zero. 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 Yeah. I don't need anything. <laughs> you see, this is my chance. Here, 10,000 pound I have. If you write 10,000. Well, 10,000. Bye bye. Let's go. Let, <laughs> let, let, let me. <laughs> Here is 10,000 before you talk about the chance. If you write 10,000 here, that money is goes through to you. Oh, maybe someone else needs it. No, so maybe, maybe you I have lost the chance. chance. You lost I the chance. No, he's proving the point. He's proving the point. I get it. Yeah, you see, he's proving the point. point. That was the point. Yeah. Chance. You need a chance. Who created the chance? Me. To you. That is the see, white check. That's the point. You need to do it. This is the creation. Is the white check. It's the 10,000 pound. It's really right. No, I I will give, must give you because I promise you to write. You write zero. Yeah. Zero is nothing. I don't have zero to give you. If you write 10,000, sure I will give you 10,000 in my pocket to you. You lose the chance. Yeah. The creation is I am. Someone has helped me. Who are going to help me? Allah. God will help me. This, this money, who created this money? Factory, yes? I suppose, yeah. Yes, I mean. factory. The factory need accessory. Who the, who the accessory for? Who the accessory for the to product the money? For well, men. Men. Yeah. The man have needed knowledge. Who, where he gone the, for the knowledge? The world. The world. So, when they gone to the university, <laughs> let me to explain this one. When they gone to the university and got knowledge. Who <laughs> Muslim? Muslim. But on the yeah, first day, when he went to the school, he was uneducated and step by step gone to the university learning. and the mind and created the money. Who gave the mind to create the money for him? I mean, I don't know. So well, you but don't the... believe Allah, you don't believe God. So I will tell you that God gave the mind to make up same things like phone, like water, like this paper. Mm. That man is sit over there in the factory and make this paper and I just was the white and I got the pen and write down the how much you needed. You say zero. Mm. If you write here 10,000, sure this is 10,000 I will give you. I will show everybody but no follow me, okay? Yeah, you're gonna you follow love, you're gonna follow your brother. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, you, lo you lose the chance. Oh. The creation, the creation of me. But who gonna give this money? Allah. I went to the jobs. I am a civil engineer and also a lawyer. That you have the main point. I have two degree in my Arabic language. I know the Arabic. I'm not of Arabic. I'm from Afghanistan. Okay? Mashallah. 
strong one, people. Okay, this one is you write zero. If you write it hundred, surely this is I, our when Muslim promise something one give you hundred I will give you. So yeah, right now I, I will I give you, you just yeah, one coffee from you. here. <laughs> okay, that's all. You don't believe Allah. Believe it, Allah. If Allah is not in the top, is not on the top. He's here. Here is the here is I mean. If you don't believe Allah when you sleep and suddenly like this, this is the yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, happy. one second. Yeah, okay. sorry, but well, uh, first we will say Allah above His creation, yeah. but Allah by knowledge He yeah. knows everything. But what we say to you, look here, yeah, yeah. what the Baba is mentioning is something which is good, you know. So he's talking about the chance. Like I said, to summarize, the chance yeah, is not an entity. Chance. chance is not entity. So what's happening now, Joe? Yeah, we are turning off our sound reasoning and we just listen to any theories that the science come with. For example, singularity. For example, this is why any human being reflects deep down with himself and look upon the cre uh, reflect upon the creation. That's why in the Quran Allah said, Inna fi khalqi samawati wal -ard. Within the creation of the heavens and the earth, the sky and the earth. And the alteration of a day and night, it is a sign for people of understanding with sound reasoning. What does that mean, Joe, when Allah said it is a sign? When Allah said it is a sign, meaning it is a sign and an ind indication that points toward there is a creator who must be worshipped alone. You know, and that is something which cannot be denied. As for, for example, Allah said another verse, would they create by nothing? Or did they create themselves? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm belief. So the question you ask yourself, this creation was it created by nothing? Or did it create itself? Well, that's, the, that's the question I do ask myself. So uh, let me ask you, what do you think? Was it created by nothing? I haven't worked it out. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why it's nothing. Nothing is non-existent. Mm. Nothing, Joe, is a non-existent. Mm. It's illogical, impossible, for something that does not exist to create something else. Yeah, I accept that. You accept that? Totally. Okay. Now the second question, Allah said, oh, did they create, it? Did they, did they create themselves? Or oh, we create ourselves. That he call law of non-contradiction, which Allah mentioned in the Quran, not with this concept of law of non-contradiction, because if we already exist, there is no need to create ourselves. There will be contradiction. So therefore, what is left, we must have a creator. And that creator cannot be a rock or something. That creator must possess knowledge because we can see the effects of knowledge within the creation. Must possess power, must possess wisdom. Okay, is that logical? No, 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 it's not a logical. I think, I think the logic makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's what I said, it's logical. Then. We're able to so you agree, that's what I meant. Draw other conclusions, uh, we're rationally able to arrive at separate conclusions. What is it, give me an example of that. Well. There's none. Penicillin, for example. Why is defined that? Penicillin came from a moldy sandwich. So penicillin, this fantastic drug that you know has cured so many of our ills, which we manufactured, actually came from a, a, a mistake. So it could be the case. How came from mistake? Well, as in it was, it was left there. It was a moldy sandwich. Kind yeah, of. but Something that's like not a mistake. Bread, kind yeah, of. that's not mistake. No, but it was an accident. It that was, was an accident. It, it was. A, yeah. yeah. It was discovered, but. It was but discovered by accident. Yeah. So, so the thing. No, yeah, no, it's not made. Accident, yeah. It was discovered. By it was discovered. Yeah. But that's what I mean. So I think you could even arrive at a separate conclusion that this was discovered by accident. No, 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 no. Discovered that. Okay. The question. That sandwich. Did it come by itself? No, it was made That's at some it. Point. So me discovering something doesn't not negate it came by chance or just came by itself. What you're doing, you have to differentiate between the sandwich and us discovering <laughs> it by accident. Yeah. Us discovering it by accident has nothing to do with the sandwich someone made it. No, you're right. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my point still stand. What I would say to you, Joe, because yeah. I was speaking to one lady uh, two weeks ago, the same thing. She said, you know what, what you're saying makes sense. But there is possibility, there is other options. I said, sister, if what I'm making is sense and it's logical, <laughs> rational, why you have to go to other possibilities? It's like you, for example, sorry, Joe, to cut, yeah? Okay. Imagine, Joe, yeah, you are, you are a police officer. You do your research, there's a crime. So you come to a conclusion with a logical way, tangible proofs that the person who did it, so and so. You're not going to say, you know what? There's possibility it could be a monkey. There's possibility it could be a chicken. I You're going to start looking for possibility when you have a log logical, rational, tangible proofs that, that so-and-so did it. Yeah, I, I, the, the, only, the only thing I can say there is that sense exists within the capacity to reason. So once reasoning expands, then you have more like sort of capacity or the parameters to make sense widen as well. 
no, what so, I'm saying. So, for example, sorry. whilst you do make perfect sense within the bounds of what you're arguing, I think when you extend the parameters, you can sort of draw out sense. No, what I'm talking about. Draw out logic. Joe, what I'm talking about here, something called universal knowledge. You can't. Is, I don't know about universal knowledge. What do you mean by that? When I say universal knowledge, yeah. any human being, I can, I'll give you an example, not a proof, because it's called self evidence. Mm -hmm. But I've given you an example. If a child, five months old, yeah. someone hits him at the back, mm -hmm. the child will not start, he start looking, because he know in order for something to happen, mm -hmm. must have a cause. Yeah, yeah, cause and effect. Okay, that's called universal knowledge. That is known, cause and effect, yeah? For example of that as well, the law of a non-contradiction, yeah? For example, if a child looking for a doll, if he finds a doll in his room, he will not start looking for the same doll somewhere else. If he, if he lost the doll in his If room, he lost a doll he and he it. finds it, he will not start, because he knows, you know, that is in the place. So what I'm saying, what we talk, that's what Allah in the Quran. Oh, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Then, that's yeah. why in the Quran, true that this book is from the creator of everything. He utilizes proofs called universal knowledge. It's not a dream. I said, I said, Joe, I didn't tell you, believe in Islam is a truth. Why? Because one day I was sleeping and Prophet Muhammad came to my dream, told me Islam is a truth. That's called a personal experience. You understand? What I'm utilizing, and that's the beauty of Islam, that's what I differentiate Islam from any way of life and religion. Because Islam is based upon universal knowledge. When Allah said, Am min ghairi shay'in, Am hum al khaliqun. Allah's not questioning it. Allah showing us this. Are you serious that you think you were created by nothing? Are you serious? You create by non-existent. Doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. You know? That's why, you know, in the Quran, even when it comes to Prophet Muhammad, how this man come with the five universal necessities which protect mankind and society. A man that existed 1,400 years ago. That is another proof that we can utilize to strengthen our argument Islam is the, Islam is the truth and there is a creator for everything. Uh, let me go through them, yeah? Please do. Joe. You know, Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? And thank you for giving me your time and be patient. Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? Meaning that in Islam, paganism, polytheism is forbidden. That's why in Islam, if you, don't, if you do not worship the true God, you will start following your desires. And the outcome of your following desires will be destruction. Because everyone has different desire. You understand? So that's why in Islam, there is like a barriers surrounding that someone tried to uh, invalidate the oneness of Allah. We don't worship Prophet Muhammad. We worship Allah, the creator of everything. Secondly, Islam came to preserve intellect. Islam came to preserve intellect. That's why alcohol and drugs is forbidden in Islam. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. Islam came to preserve... No worries, okay, I, I, have, I have protection. <laughs> Islam came to preserve wealth. So. Uh, that's why interest and gambling is forbidden. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. So Islam came to preserve, protect wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Islam came to preserve marriage life. That's why adultery and fornication is forbidden. Islam came to preserve wave, uh, uh, sorry, life. That's why killing people unjustly is forbidden. These five things Islam came to preserve. In our society and around the world, generally speaking, they do not just allow it, they propagate it. For example, alcohol, is it good for us or bad for us? Don't worry about it, man. Uh, I mean, it's bad for your body, but I've had some really fun times on it. No, no problem, heroin is the same thing. When people take heroin, they have a fun. But does it mean that it's good for you? That's not true. When people take heroin, yeah. they don't have fun. Some people might. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> you said it's not true. You said it's not true. Oh. That is, I, I said to you, some oh, people... Oh, do people have fun? Yeah, when they take heroin, they yeah. have fun. But maybe, well, maybe. I mean, like. No, some people. I, I, I agree that people can. I mean, you know, he's speaking to ex drug dealer. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I, I love that lifestyle. Alhamdulillah, I love that lifestyle. You know. I, I know. Well, you know, you come into Khabir, as Allah said. You know. See, alcohol is is it's yeah, bad for us. But you know, it can be a social lubricant. It can be quite wonderful for certain relationships as well. I just think in. So destroying your society, so destroying your body. You know, you know, they, they say yeah, the scientists all have agreed. The alcohol is bad for our health. Yeah, no, no, no. You're, I, I know it's bad Little. for your health. So you, but you might have a fantastic night with your best friend drinking. Even if you harm your body. Or with your partner, you might have a beautiful night. Even if you harm your body. Yeah, of course. But like, I mean, imagine because like. Come on, man. Joke. But also. Some beautiful, 
wonderful moments have been had. That's called sort of when alcohol touches. That's the called illusion. The that's called illusion. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> also the alcohol that you're speaking about, majority of crimes in Britain because of alcohol. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. Does, and yeah. alcohol, they say the NHS is bleeding. Pardon? The NHS is bleeding yeah. because of alcohol. Uh, yeah. Alcohol destroy us individually and collectively. So any human being with a sound reasoning, I'm not gonna take something when I know it's gonna destroy my life. Because if I don't care about my life, let alone care about people's life. Do you understand? Yeah, so I Islam shows you that Islam cares about people's life and it cares about people's health. Yes? But alcohol is not just allowed here and show you when you don't have no God, you contradict yourself. Alcohol is, is illegal. I contradict myself all the time, but I think we're just, contradiction is part of life. No, watch this, uh, uh, Julia. Alcohol is illegal. It's legal, it's allowed. Drugs, ketamine, Cocaine, yeah. heroin is illegal. Yeah. Both of them cause harm to the body. Yeah. Both of them, people when they take them, they, they, they carry out crimes. So why alcohol is illegal and drugs is illegal when both of them they cause the same harm? I don't know. Do you know why? Taxes, presumably. I'll tell you why. The other, yeah, the other uh, that, yeah. Let me tell you why, taxes Joe. Taxes and contradictions, those are the things. That's, that's it. Because alcohol, because alcohol, the elites make money from it. Yeah, they do. Yes, yeah, taxes. Yeah, yeah. But you see, that's my point. When you have no creator, when the people are making legislation for themselves, desire will come in, evil desires, bias. So I'm going to allow something, but if I know something's going to benefit me, even though it's going to harm society, I'm going to allow it. That's why you need a guideline from the creator. Just let me finish that one and I'll let you speak because I don't want to keep speaking. So my point here is alcohol is bad for us, individually and collectively. Gambling, gambling is bad for us. Gambling destroys societies as well. And collectively and individually, uh, what do they call it? Interest. Interest make the rich richer, you know, interest usually, yeah. Interest make the rich richer and poor poorer, yes? Fornication, adultery destroy families, household, yes? Now, my point is, there's not any doubt these vices, there is some people benefit from it. Yeah. yeah, who are they? Those who are in power or those who own the businesses. Or those, those who are, can be honest with themselves. Yeah, well. they're making money out of it. Or it, those who can be honest with themselves. What do you mean, sorry? Like, well, I mean, going back to alcohol and maybe yeah. a few drugs, yeah. for example. I think, I genuinely think sometimes that can really benefit friendships, relationships, beauty. I, I, so I, know, I know you guys disagree. That's, that's no, okay. just ask. Anyone that's watching can be disagreeing. Everyone can disagree. Yeah. But, you know, there's just, there are some beautiful moments that they share. There's been some beautiful poetry that's written. Some beautiful words have been uttered. Sort of, with, that, with the influence but, of all these things. As have they been while sober in many respects. But some. But that doesn't make it good for us. That's not true. I think, you know, who knows what marvelous paintings, what marvelous structures, so I'm, structures on the influence so of you're gonna, you, are you, are you, are you telling me there's no harm for me to drink alcohol, even gonna harm my body? Well, there can be harm. Absolutely. No, it, it there's, is. Harm, there's harm to drink milk. No, 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 no. The harm of alcohol yeah. overweight any benefits. Overweight any benefits. Like, yeah, it can. You understand it that? Can, absolutely. It's destroying families. It can. It's them. committing crimes. Not it can, it is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's so what I mean, as it can, but, it's the same uh, thing, uh, but it also doesn't. But, but uh, if, for uh, example, okay. And now when you say also it doesn't, yeah. and now any person with a sound reasoning, if you notice, you're giving alcohol to 20 people, mm. 18 people are committing crimes, yeah. and two people, maybe they're not committing crimes, yeah. any person, you know what, well, I'm not going to give it to them because it's going to cause more harm. Let alone even those people, if they're not, hear me, Ahmed, Joe, 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 even like those two people who are not committing crimes, mm. they are harming themselves, you know? That's why what I would say to you, Joe, that you have to understand, mm. now, it's, that's the beauty of Islam. Islam comes to protect mankind from their own evil. Even though you accept that it's evil, but you still want to do it. It's harmful to you, alcohol. It harms your body. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and you still want to do it. And you still want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why what we say, you know, that what you're proving to me now, yeah? yeah? No one should blame God if Allah put people in the hellfire forever. Because mankind knows what is evil. They know what is bad for them. Even God sh give them clear proof that it's bad for you. And what is good is to follow the creator, yet they will not follow that which is harmful to them. That's why no one should blame God why some, some people go into the hellfire forever. We should not blame no one except ourselves. I don't blame God. You know, but some people, I'm trying to prove point here. Some people say, why Allah is going to put people in the hellfire? Not because, you should not ask why Allah. You should ask, why you want to go to hellfire? 
That's the question. Even though you know that we must have a creator makes sense, but you're looking for other options, even though it doesn't make any sense. Even though you accept alcohol is bad for us, but you still try to say, I'm going to take it. Come on, Joe, you're smarter than that, bro. We'll lie. No, no, you're I'm actually quite that. good with that, to be honest. No, you're smarter I, I, than that. His body is not his. It's a creation of Allah. Yeah. Uh, even if it's, he's having his own body. So therefore, he cannot be, we, we cannot trust you to be a leader. Because if you don't care about your own body, let alone about the other people's bodies. You understand? Oh, I care That's about why his body. You can not care about, about your body. I do care about my body. So where do you get alcohol? I've been running a swim this morning. So where do you, uh, where do you get alcohol if even, even you know it's bad for you? As I said, I think it can inform, it can inform conversation. <laughs> That's a delusion. I, I know it might you know be, drugs, might yeah? Because I'm an experienced person with this stuff. Well, you said before. Yeah, <laughs> alhamdulillah. Yeah. You know what happened? When I used to go you central... Mind, cameras. You don't have nah, to No, no problem. Me. People know. You know, uh, uh, when I used to go central London, yeah. when I used to go through hardship and everything, I used to take some drugs. Yeah. But what happened? It's a fake temporary happiness. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Next day, what happened? You're going to get sober. You're going to face the reality. Yeah. What are you going to do again? Get another drugs. Yeah, so we get, you get hooked. So you're wasting your money and harming your body. So something happened, I went to prison. I'm sorry. Yes, I went to jail. Why, you took me to prison? No. You said you're sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sorry to hear I'm joking. You. I'm, joking. You I'm, joking. I'm joking, Joe. So when I went to prison, that's the time when I'm isolated, there is not any temptation. I start reflecting. What is my purpose? I'm, I'm Muslim, alhamdulillah. I'm blessed to be Muslim. So I started in the Quran. I see people accepting Islam in prison in front of me. I said, you know what? I, I was born a Muslim, raised a Muslim. Allah gave me that blessing, but I never appreciate it. Let me study. I started reading and so on, and my life changed, alhamdulillah, to much better. Drugs is evil. Alcohol is evil. All the happiness that I used to have is a fake happiness. The true happiness, when you worship your creator, there's something good in our body, nothing will fulfill it, except when you understand your purpose and you worship your creator alone. That's when you feel that emptiness. Have you ever taken acid? I mean, acid? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't take acid, no. Man, acid's wild. Uh, <laughs> no. I think you need to go to hospital, man. <laughs> Joe, I'm gonna go. really take care of yourself. May Allah guide you to the truth. I mean, but you know, that's a point I always like to repeat to the people. How many Muslims come to me say, I have a doubt? What is your doubt? My doubt, why Allah is going to punish some people eternally in the hellfire? Why are you asking that question? You should ask the guy, why are you going to go to hellfire eternally? That's the question we're asking. You know? And that's what Allah said. وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِظَلَّامٍ لِلْعَبِيدِ Your Lord, your Creator, the one that should be with alone, doesn't oppress no one. وَمَا ظَلَمْنَاهُمْ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَظْلِمُونَ We never oppress them, but they like to oppress themselves. We like to oppress ourselves. We know alcohol is bad for us, but we still drink. We know drugs is bad for us, we still take it. So we should not blame no one except ourselves. You know, that's what Allah, look, even it makes sense to him that there is a creator possess knowledge, but he's just looking for any another way. So don't blame no one. You know, alhamdulillah, for the ni'mah of Islam, alhamdulillah, we are Muslims. May Allah keep us firm upon Islam. Alhamdulillah, you know, it's a ni'mah. You know, Ahmad ibn Khattab said, no one understand the blessing of Islam except who lived jahiliya. You know, alhamdulillah, I lived a lifestyle, you know, it's an evil lifestyle. And wallahi, alhamdulillah, I have friends that died because of that. Our friend went crazy, mentally disturbed. But alhamdulillah, Allah saved me. That lifestyle is disgusting, you know. And I used to always think I need to get out of this lifestyle. But I couldn't, because I was surrounded with people that were not helping me. And you know, Allah said, Asa an takrahu shay'an wa huwa khayru lakum. Perhaps you hate something which is good for you. What happened? I went to prison. I thought that was bad for me. But what happened, it was good for me. Alhamdulillah. You know, there's many people out there, from Muslims and non-Muslims, they want to change their lifestyle. Because Allah created us with a fitrah. This fitrah, now and then will hit you back. It's like reflects. You have a purpose in this life. This life is not forever, you're gonna die. Ask that questions, why I'm here? What is my purpose? Why do I have to die? What will happen to me? These questions, scientists cannot answer it. The guy that people hold him as, the head of the scientists, uh, Stephen Hawkins, died. How is he going to give you an answer? The guy died. Gone. You know? You know, you know the guy you waited for? No. That's what Allah always says. What? Do they not use their brain? 
Do they not reflect? Do they not think? Subhanallah. You know, Alhamdulillah for Islam.